coming to today's video we are going to discuss about data flow testing and basics of data flow testing to the data flow testing in the previous video i have said that how to select the desired paths and the path selections and undesired paths achievable paths not achievable paths everything i have discussed in this video we are going to discuss data flow testing actually what is mean by data flow testing data flow testing is nothing but selecting the paths to the sequence of the programs here you see that data flow testing is a name given to the family of test strategies based on the selecting paths which is nothing but we are defining some names to the paths through the program control flow in order to explore sequences in the sequence graph or any control flow graph we are going to decide some paths some desired paths we are going to select and we are giving some names like a b or anything else we are giving to the desired path which is nothing but data flow testing for example pick enough paths to assure every data object has been initialized prior to use or that all defined objects have been used for something which is nothing but giving prioritized name to the data objects and defining data object for something else for using purpose in this data flow testing we have two data flow machines firstly one human machine multi instruction multi data machine we can also these are the two types of machines which have different architectures firstly von neumann machine architecture coming to this architecture which is most commonly used most computers today are von neumann machines these these have features like interchangeable storage of instructions and data is stored in the same memory units and coming to it executes only one instruction at a time in the following sequences like these are the micro instruction sequence firstly fetch instruction from memory then interpreting the instructions fetching operands to perform any operations then process whatever the operands which are fetch they are process then whatever the result we have get this are stored in one variable or anything else then increment to program counter and go to the one what are the first step this is von neumann machine architecture multi instructions multi data machines m i m d here these machines can fetch several instructions and objects in parallel they can also do arithmetic and logical operations simultaneously on different uh, data objects they can also do different um, arithmetic and logical operations simultaneously on different data objects this is about multi instructions multi data machines mimd these are the two different machines which are in the data flow testing object state and usage firstly data object is created and used for some calculations or anything else then killer these data objects can be used in two ways like firstly in calculations and secondly in control flow predicates then whatever the data objects we are defined in the control flow graph they have some following symbols like d for define creator initialized or etc whatever then 
then k is used for killed or undefined or released u is used for something else c for calculations and p is used to define a predicate in the following control flow graph whatever the part we are choosing these symbols must be denoted in the control flow graph Thank you.